Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to look at phase difference. So let's get into it. So what do we mean by phase difference in terms of waves? Well, it says here that a measure of how much one wave lags behind another, or one point lags behind another on the same wave, is measured with phase difference. A phase difference of one wavelength means there is a phase difference of two pi radians, a half wavelength is pi radians, and so on. So we tend to describe phase difference using radians. For example, consider the snapshots below of a wave travelling to the right in the positive x direction. So here we've got different points labelled A, B and D, and you can see this wave to the left lags behind the one to the right. And it says that points O and D have a phase difference of 2 pi radians. So the origin O to point D is one full wavelength apart, and that means those two points have a phase difference of 2 pi radians. And it says they are both at zero displacement and will next be moving in the positive direction. So you can see that point O will be going into the positive x direction here, and then the wave at point D again will be going into the positive x direction. And it says they are separated by one full wavelength. Points O and B have a phase difference of pi radians. They both have zero displacement, but B will next be going negative and O will be going positive. They are separated by half a wavelength lambda over 2. So here's point O and here's point B and you can see that's half a wavelength difference which is the same as pi radians. And we said that point O is going to go into the positive x direction whereas point B is going into the negative x direction down here. And I'll just show you a quick simulation to help you visualise this. So here we have a similar wave pattern to what was in the notes, where we've got our y-axis and our x-axis, and you can see we've got two particles of the wave shown. And remember we said that phase difference is when one wave lags behind another, or when you've got two points on the same wave, you have one point lagging behind another. And in this case, the blue one is going to be lagging behind the green one. So if I click play here, you'll see how the particles move, where the blue one lags behind the green one, and we could work out the phase difference between them. So if we go one full wavelength along, we get to this point here, and then we've got another quarter wave. So we could say the phase difference is one and a quarter wavelengths, which is the same as 1.25 lambda. And that would be the same as two pi plus pi over two radians, or if you were to think about it in degrees, that's 360 degrees for the one full wavelength, plus the 90 degrees for the quarter wavelength. So we would get 450 degrees. But we write phase difference with radians, not degrees. So going back to the notes now, it says that phase difference, which is given the symbol phi, is given by the following relationship. So we have phi equals 2 pi x over lambda, where phi is the phase difference or phase angle between two points in a wave measured in radians, where we can write rad for short, x is the distance between two points in a wave measured in metres, and lambda is the wavelength of the wave measured in metres. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching, if you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.